In question 11, part A, we need to find the value of the fourth root of 81 times 10 to the power 8. Well, using the laws of thirds, that's the same as the fourth root of 81 multiplied by the fourth root of 10 to the power 8. Now, the fourth root of 81 is actually 3 because 3 to the power 4 equals 81. And we can also simplify the fourth root of 10 to the power 8 because this is the same as 10 to the power 8 raised to the power of 1 quarter. And 8 times a quarter is 2. And that's another rule of thirds. So this simplifies to 3 times 10 to the power 2. Of course, 10 to the power 2 is just 100. So 300 is our answer. In part B, we need to find the value of 64 to the power of negative 1 half. Well, that's the same as 1 over 64 to the power of a half, which we can also write as 1 over the square root of 64 raised to the power 1. So this equals 1 over 8 to the power 1, which equals 1 eighth. In part C, we need to write 3 to the power n over 9 to the power n minus 1 as a power of 3. Now, this means we can start by rewriting the expression as 3 to the power n divided by, because of course that's what the fraction line means, 3 to the power of 2 times n minus 1. That's because 9 is the same as 3 squared. So this is the same as 3 to the power n divided by 3 to the power of 2n minus 2. And using the laws of indices, when we divide numbers with the same base, we subtract the indices. So that's 3 to the power of n minus, in brackets, 2n minus 2. And after expanding and simplifying, this comes to 3 to the power 2 minus n.